Hi there, this is Wolfman Belvon and welcome to this quick overview of Movie Maker 2 Quick Sets. I'm going to demonstrate how the Marrakesh set performs. So they are very easy to load, just locate the Studio 3 folder here, Dreamline, MM2 Quick Sets, and then just select the set you want to load. There we go. As soon as it loads, you can just drag the timeline and it's already there. And the animations you see here, they already track the, the studio camera. So all you need to do is add your character. I'm going to add a V4 to our scene. There it is. And the moment it's loaded, it's already tracked with the proper camera. So you don't need to do anything. All the animation is already baked into the timeline. The only job you're going to do is animate your figure. And you simply do that by adding any blocks. So you can add whatever animation blocks you want to add. Let's like belly dance, standing snake hips. Just add it. And I can now turn it off. And my figure is now dancing. So this is all you do, just add a figure, add animation clips to that and everything else is already done for you. So all the camera matching, the lighting, all the shadows and all the background is already done. And the beauty of this is that you have tremendous rendering speed. I'm gonna... And there we go. It's very fast at rendering. Now, I've already pre-made a dancing figure. So I'm gonna quickly just delete the V4 I've got. That's basically a dressed V4 with uh, with some outfit and hair, and just a couple of looping snake hip movements. So I, I didn't do anything fancy as far as animation goes, right? Now, if I if I'm just scrolling my character now, it's dancing and performing, and the camera works all down for you. Now note that the OpenGL preview doesn't preview correctly all the transparencies but if you render this you're gonna see that it blends perfectly in the final image so you can use this to render stills or render movies or even render to a sequence file, like an image sequence. And again, the uh, OpenGL preview doesn't show all elements correctly. Once you render that, it looks just perfect. There we go. Um, the rendering is really fast and um, right now I'm testing a 32-bit version of this plugin and the 64-bit version is even faster so Now the thing with this plugin is that it works with any scene elements you might have. You can for instance add a primitive like a cube to the scene. Then it's already tracked and matched as well. And the thing is you can animate this cube over time. And also notice that when you place something here it's it's really behind this pillar so so all the time you have most of the scene of the scenery is affected by those alpha masks so that certain elements of the scene are treated as foreground elements now if you render this can notice that the cube is behind the pillar and it's casting a shadow on, on the ground and same thing here we have the cube 
behind pillars and you can scale it and rotate it and it's gonna end up behind those pillars and cast a shadow on the ground so this is how easy this plugin is to use. It's pretty much invisible working in the distance. And it's the only thing you do is you make the actual animations of your objects and the rest is done for you. And just to remind you, during pre-launch we're now offering 40% off the original price. So you can save big time by pre-ordering right now. Alright, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.